with uh, Jeff and Adrian. They're an owner of one of these awesome catamarans. And they are part of the Moorings Club. But we are, what are we on? A Leopard 45. Leopard 45. This is pretty much a brand new boat. This one in particular, they were able to salvage um, in the hurricane, so there was some damage. We don't really know what damage that was, but she looks really good. She's in pretty good shape. There's a couple little quirks we've had this week, but. Yeah, but every boat has its quirks. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so you just don't know if it's a, quirk, a boat quirk or from the hurricane. Or quirk. if it's just a boat quirk. That's true. Because we all expect brand new boats to be perfect off the line, but yeah. the reality but is that's not are. true. Yeah. We're just going to do a little walking tour. It's a pretty nice setup in here. It's been really nice the last couple of days. There's room for Kelly's shoes on this boat. Oh, yeah. yeah. A lot of shoes. I could have a whole closet. I'm yeah. Kelly, I'm going to have a whole closet. <laughs> yes. I'll store I some of your stuff. Okay. We don't tell anybody. <laughs> this is back boat. Nice little living area. Yeah. Um, this is probably where we hung out the most, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Nice big dining area. Davits for the dinghy. Nice. And a uh, really nice little, you know, swim platform. It's got the wash down on the other side. All these lockers open up. Oh, yeah. So. There. Deep, pretty big, snorkel gear. Yeah, there's a ton of storage in here. Like, more than you could probably use. Oh no, we'll pull it out there. <laughs> yeah. This is the galley. Nice little oven. Nice nice counter space. Just kind of like a real normal little God, cook such a nice meal here. kitchen. Great view. Amazing. We have Freezer, fridge. Yeah. Drawer freezer, a little empty right now. Fridge pulls out. Pretty sweet. And then we have For the dining area. And this will go, this table goes down, and you have cushions that you can make this full bed. So. A swimming bed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at that control panel. That's intense. Pretty much everything's set up in one spot, unlike our little hodgepodge on Satori. Of course, we don't travel without Arthur's shark. <laughs> oh, yeah. Put the lights on. Yeah. Nayup station. Nayup station. I sit here and I write in my. Oh yeah, the journal station. You yeah. plot courses there. And if you had the iPad set up while we were sailing, when it was raining yesterday, we could have sat up there and I could have stood with the boat from over there. Yeah. Like just a ton of these little. There's three of those in apartments. Here. Three of them here. In here, and then under here, safe and all oh, that good water. stuff. There's water. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Super cool. Cool little like front sitting area, which is pretty awesome. This is really nice when you're sailing, just chill up here. Table, this is all storage. And the generator's under here with storage. This is the anchor locker. Let's open this stuff up. Okay. Shut down in order to open it. So that's the anchor locker. Windless anchor drops right down. Yeah, the bridle, the anchor. And then this one, this one stores two 100 gallon water tanks and all of our fenders. Fenders and noodles and fenders, water. Fenders, noodles. Like and this is, this, is where, this is where he made Nick and Kelly sleep. <laughs> right, obviously the uh, Trampoline that Arthur he kind of gets stuck on. He doesn't know how to get off of this thing <laughs> <laughs> But he doesn't mind Well, this is Arthur's bunk 
<laughs> right here. It's kind of a. That's actually. But yeah. It's, but it's got air con. It's actually air conditioning. It's got like lights in there and USB ports and. But you can only access it through this hatch, so it's not really right. connected to the boat. It's like a little captain's quarters when there's when the boat's full. Skipper quarters, and then on the alternate side, same little setup except here. It's a bathroom and a shower. And all the little storage cubbies behind the ladder. All right. That's basically going to be the garage, though. Oh. Right. Because it's starting to rain. Oh. Ladies first. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. We got two rooms and two bathrooms, two beds. And each side, each of the uh, halls, is the same, so it's this mirror. Identical on the other side. So. To the aft, a little bit bigger bedroom. We've been sleeping here. Yeah. Oops, we didn't make our bed. But good, good size bed. Yeah. Nice. Like and then bathroom with the uh, shower and uh, toilet over there. Hey, <laughs> not bad. Basically four <laughs> bathrooms. Each bedroom has. Its own little uh, bathroom, and each one closes off. So you know this is definitely set up for charter. So four private, you know, in suite, which is nice. This one was kind of—it's a little smaller, but uh, we've been using this. I've just been throwing my stuff in here because it's only uh, I'm only using two of the bedrooms on this trip here. And the other side is identical. Other side's identical. <laughs> Should we go on that side? No, it's messy. Is it? My side is messy. <laughs> My you go. Side you go. Is not messy. Well, whatever. And then this, Oops. the other side, hey, um, is identical, right? Yeah. So, bedroom, bathroom on that side. Bedroom. That's on this side. Mess. Don't look over here. Just bedroom, bathroom that side. <laughs> All my clothes? Yeah. yeah. I have a system. It's a system like I wear them and I throw them on the floor, but if they're really dirty, I'll throw them in the drawer. So if they're, and if they're on the bed, they're, they're not that dirty. Oh. So I just, it's like a three tier system to wear Like multi leveled soiledness. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Captain, you want to show us the helm? Yeah, sure. All right. Oh, a little bit of rain right here, but that's okay. So, helm station, we got two Yakmoor yeah, 45s. One of them's not working at the moment. Um, all rain marine equipment. Uh, it's, it's really good because it's easy to single hand. So, we got both electric, both of these are electric winches. So all got, the lines running right here. You know, all the lines run right here, so you never have to leave the, the, the helm station. So, right down here are the foot switches to run each of these winches right here. So pretty nice. And then um, there's one more manual winch to the side. Although these lines can run up through this pulley and you can use electric winch for those too. So, um, and these are the two main sheets. Yeah, this little interesting system here. I haven't seen it, but there's two main sheets going on here. So no traveler on this. Um, we're still trying to figure this one out, really. Yeah, like one one is the working main, and one kind of acts as like the boom bang, so you can kind of pull, kind of pull the sail down or up, depending on where you, how you want to shape the sail. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's easy to single hand it though. So one person could, you know, it's easy to tack and come about, and you know, just you got everything right here. Yeah, and like then sail the, bags, sail bags with the cavernous like rope storage. Yeah, and, and ours when we get it, we're gonna have plastic all around, so you can you can basically completely enclose this so you're yeah. sheltered, Ooh. which we're not right now. Yeah, and I'm getting soaked. <laughs> um, and then we also we're also gonna have um, sunshades, so it'll be plastic and sunshades, so you can just bring the sunshades down. But yeah, you, this is basically you can make this a room, so if it's real, the weather's really bad, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's really comfortable. 
it's really comfortable. Well, this has been awesome. Yes, um, thank you guys so much. I want to Our thank pleasure. you guys. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Ever wonder what happens when the camera is off? Every video we post gets its own blog post with the juicy details and unseen pictures. Check it out on sailingsatori.life. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You won't want to miss what's coming up.